Well, let me tell you, sir, what is wrong right now is that no one is agrees about uh, the elections law and about uh, how they are dealing with uh, political movements and political forces and political parties. They're so just ignoring all the recommendations uh, with all details that would be very important in order to stop uh, ex-national democratic parties groups from joining once more into the, into the elections and uh, having uh, seats on the parliament to another place. All right, I understand you're also uh, perhaps concerned about emergency laws. You want the army to move quicker. One of the concerns is who can the army hand things over to? How do you respond to that? That you may be able to bring out the people, bring out the youths onto the streets to protest, but you can't do anything beyond that in providing security. So the army really has to be there with emergency laws. Well, beginning of all, we declared three days ago that we will not respond to all uh, the emergency law uh, uh, situation and we will not agree with anything such as this. We have uh, been ruling under uh, the emergency law for over than 30 years and this is something not acceptable at all. We're not in emergency state and we're not in a war with anyone in order to have an emergency law. Other than that, we can just uh, have an emergency law uh, when you, we got uh, people demanding to have a civil state and having a civil country. This is something not acceptable at all and I did not find any movement or any party that agrees with emergency law at all. Right, you've called for protests. I can see people already coming out behind you. How easy is it for you to keep up momentum every other Friday with protests? Well, I got to tell you that there is many people around right now and uh, I think there will be uh, thousands and thousands on their ways and I think like let's say uh, at 2, maybe 3 uh, BM there will be around uh, half a million, maybe million and this protest will be one of the most successful protests in Egypt because it's for the right reasons and we will just fed enough after the uh, last video uh, they, they found that police officers and military officers are torturing people for no reason and, and they, they just reclaim that they are thugs and uh, uh, found with, with guns and drugs and stuff like this but this is nonsense in order to arrest people and to torture them with electricity and stuff like this. All right, thanks so much. Rami Suisi there. Thank the you. Co-founder of April 6th Youth Movement.